<laughs> oh my! Look at you! Ten of years ago, your life changed forever. You became happier, you being with excitement in life. You met your soulmate and it just clicked. You both knew it was meant to be. It was me, you met me, I'm your soulmate. <laughs> we were in Maine at Acadia. Um, I, we went to take a picture. We had been there on vacation, it was the last day there. And he wanted to take a picture. We were on the top of a mountain. And so we went to post to take a picture, and then when I turned, he was on a knee, and I was terrified because his legs. I was so scared, and he's scared of heights, and we were right on the edge. And he told me he was terrified the whole time. Cool. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it's uh, both of us. Love this. <laughs> you look good. Oh my. I don't know. Yes, <laughs> there it is. I'm gonna trip on don't trip on your dress. <laughs> you ready for this? We spent one of the first months when we worked together in Florida. We stayed up late with Taylor, sang songs to Tay and dance, laughed, and we probably were way too loud. I got to see a side of you that not many people get the opportunity to see right off the bat. I instantly saw how incredibly compassionate you can be, how smart you are, and how tough you are. Thank you for being strong. Thank you for being honest, even when I don't want you to be. <laughs> Marcus. <laughs> Thank you for loving Sven the way she deserves to be. We both know she can be a bit of a handful, but you calm her, you encourage her, you support her, and you challenge her, and you make her snacks. I admire and appreciate you more than I could ever express for the happiness you bring to Sven. And most importantly, thank you for loving her with all you have. I've watched the both of you grow over time and deal with change, loss, grief, health issues, and many other obstacles life comes with, but no matter what it is, you guys come out on top, stronger and more in love than before. I love you both. I'm so excited to see what the future holds. Cheers to Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> That's when we went fishing in Naples with Roy went deep sea fishing. I caught the first fish on the trip. <laughs> oh, this is from a road trip we took to Colorado. It was only, I was in town for a couple days and we road tripped for like the whole 10 plus hours. Brought the dogs, got an Airbnb, it was a blast. I, we're here because Finn and Marcus fell in love. In addition to these commitments Marcus and Sven have just made, they've also made some, let's call them special vows, that they prepare for one another. Marcus, let's start with you. Marcus, do you promise to put up with Sven's online shopping, <laughs> being a web MD expert, and trying to name and adopt home dogs? <laughs> and Sven, do you promise? to put up with Marcus's constant gawking at cars, <laughs> eating a bag of fries, and spending hours at Lowe's until death do you part. <laughs> Excellent. Now that we got past that, we can move on. Sven Dale Marie Smith. <laughs> From this day on, you're no longer a Johnson. I'm so sorry to break that news to you, but oh my, isn't it the greatest news to me? Welcome to being a Smith, one basic name for another, but I promise you that our life will be anything but. Our adventures are just beginning. Just because we have a home doesn't mean our adventures are limited. The future is always uncertain, but I'm certain that if you could see my life through my eyes, you would be in awe of the woman that stands here before me today, just like any other day. I promise you to be your rock, the safe place for you to come home to after a long day of conquering the rest of the world. I have the power vested in me by the state of Oklahoma, and now pronounce you husband and wife. Yes, 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 yes. I'd like to be the first to introduce everyone to Mr. and Mrs. Smith.